to the uh, Royal Canadian Navy, which is now joining the RIMPAC 2020 amid also the COVID-19 pandemic. Here's Thomas I. Likeness. Two Canadian Navy frigates are among the foreign ships joining the U.S. Navy in the rim of the Pacific military exercise off the coast of Hawaii. The HMCS Regina and the HMCS Winnipeg will take part in the biennial event which got underway Monday. The United States Navy organizes and hosts RIMPAC every two years. It had originally anticipated this year to be even larger than in 2018. However, because of the pandemic, the United States Navy scaled down this year's version. Navy Vice Admiral and RIMPAC 2020 Commander Scott Kahn says safety has been a top priority in planning for this exercise. I want to say up front that everything we are doing for RIMPAC has been carefully and deliberately planned to ensure everyone's safety. As you may know, RIMPAC 2020 will be an at-sea only exercise due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. This construct was developed to ensure the safety of the citizens of Hawaii and all the sailors embarked on the ships participating this year. To minimize international travel and person-to-person -person contact, the land and air components of the exercise have been canceled. As well, Khan says there will be fewer support staff with limited activity ashore at Joint Base Pearl Harbor, Hickam. I can speak on everyone's behalf in saying that we will certainly miss the interactions we typically have with a community. However, we are not going to be able to do that this year. The health and safety of the citizens of Hawaii, as well as our U.S. and partner nation sailors, is our priority. Khan says both Canadian ships will conduct missile firings, among other tasks. Winnipeg will fire the evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and torpedoes. The Regina will fire a harpoon to sink a target as part of a larger exercise with multiple units called a sinking exercise or SYNCAX. This year we will focus solely on warfighting in the maritime domain to include anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and maritime interdiction operations as well as some robust live fire events. During all the at-sea events, all partner nations understand the importance of preserving and protecting the unique maritime environment that makes it so special. RIMPAC represents a unique opportunity to strengthen relationships and build trust. As well as Canada and the United States, other countries participating in this scaled-down event include Australia, Brunei, France, Japan, New Zealand, South Korea, the Philippines, and Singapore. RIMPAC 2020 ends on August 31st. In the meantime, I wish you all good health. Take care of others, take care of yourselves, stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned to Eagle News for balanced and accurate coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic and other current affairs. In Edmonton, Canada, Thomas I. Likeness, Eagle News. We live in interesting times.